Hello. Today I will show you a visualization of the Monte Carlo Tree Search Algorithm, or MCTS for short, in a tic-tac-toe environment. This visualization can be accessed through any web browser, and the link to it will be in the description down below. This video won't explain to you the details of how MCTS works, rather, our intention here is just to explain the tool, so you can toy with it and enhance your own intuition in your studies. The tool itself is pretty intuitive, so I suggest you take a stab at it and check this video only if you encounter any problems. So let's start. This is the first screen of the visualization app. Your first decision is to choose who will make the opening move, the human or the machine. Here, we'll start with the human, us. Then, you must make your play. I'll make it here, for example. After making your play, this menu will appear. Here, you can select the behavior of the machine. In particular, the machine can make a random play or a Monte Carlo tree search play. If you select the latter, you can also control how many iterations the algorithm will execute. The purpose of these settings is to allow the user to compare the MCTS behavior in different situations. For example, a low number of iterations normally corresponds to worse plays. The default is a thousand, so we'll choose it. It's good enough for tic-tac-toe. Having made your play, now it's the machine's turn. Finally, let's visualize how the MCTS works. The central area displays the game tree, which currently only has one node. We'll see how it evolves over time. To better visualize the tree, you can also pan with the left mouse button or zoom with the scroll wheel. Up here you can see the control panel, where you can control the algorithm step by step. The main thing to realize here, in case you already know how MCTS works, is that this visualization separates the concept of iteration and action. In particular, an iteration is divided in four types of actions, selection, expansion, simulation and backpropagation, in that order. So, when you click next action, you stepped to the next action, but when you click next iteration, you skip a whole bunch of actions and end up in the start of the next iteration, which is a selection. This will become clearer with an example. Let's see a whole iteration, step by step. The first action is selection. Here, the algorithm will select a node to be expanded. Usually it's a node who hasn't been fully expanded, or the node with greater UCT among its siblings. The selected node will always be red. The following action is expansion. A new node is added to the game tree, and we highlight it in green. The next action is simulation. A random game is simulated from the game state of the current node. The result of this game is shown here in blue. The fourth and final action is backpropagation. The simulation's result is backpropagated through the node's ancestors, incrementing or decrementing their value according to the result. In our implementation, a victory is worth 1 point, a loss is worth minus 1, and a draw is worth 0. Notice how the backpropagation is discretized over many actions, one for each ancestor. We designed it like this so you can really see it step by step, like you would do manually. Backpropagation is the last action, so next action actually starts the next iteration. We can see that the algorithm does a selection, then an expansion, then a simulation, and so on and so forth, exactly as we'd imagine. Note that if we click on next iteration, it skips the current iteration, like we said. It automatically goes to the next selection. Look at the action counter and you'll notice how it skips many actions. So, this is how this step-by-step -step works. Actions and iterations. Probably you don't want to see all the iterations. When you're satisfied, you can always click and visualize the last step. This will bring the game tree to its final state when it has reached the number of iterations previously specified, in our case, a thousand. In red, we can see the play that was selected as best by the algorithm. Although this can be done in many ways, in our implementation we chose the node with higher number of visits. You can click Make Play to finalize the machine's turn. Now it's our turn again. We can repeat this process until the end of the game. This is basically how the tool works. I hope it helps you in some way. Thank you for watching and have a good day.